Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and it has been so long since we played this game on the channel, and I'm pretty stoked to be back, I mean, I actually really forgot how truly epic our city was. So I'm looking forward to continuing this. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back to Tiny Town, but there's been just so many requests and so much support from you guys that I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and try it again. Now, last episode, we actually left off with this Monster Jam Stadium. Uh, well, I guess you'd call it a Monster Jam slash Sprint Cars slash Stunt Show. We had a whole bunch of stuff going on here. But today, we're actually going to shift focus out to the water because I've downloaded a couple cool workshop items. So we're about to jump right back into this. I'm going to go over a little brief tour of the city for those who have forgotten about the series. That way I can kind of brief you guys as to what we've done. And then I want you guys to comment below with what you want to see next. Now, I was almost tempted to do another map and do like a Mad Max style apocalyptic zombie map. But I think I'm going to hold off until we finish this thing. And then we might move on to something like that. So anyways, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. All right, so we're going to cruise by. This is the island invasion. Uh, you can see like the little D-Day scene. Over here, we have the uh, prison break that's happening here in Tiny Town. And this leads over to kind of like a shipwreck over on this side and a tsunami. And it kind of leads to some ship crashes. Uh, we have some of the, this is actually the very first couple of episodes, I believe, right in this area. Uh, we had an earthquake slash sinkhole. Baldy has invaded the city. We have tornadoes. We have Granny. We have racetracks. It's actually quite chaotic over here. Now, way over here on this side of the map, we had like a nuclear explosion go off. We have a farm, which uh, meteorites are crashing down on it over here. Uh, we had our space center. Uh, the airport's over here, and this is a little zombie apocalypse area, which we have walled off and all the little details in here. So that's kind of the areas that we've done. Now, where we're going to focus today, we have somebody that's on their way to Tiny Town, and I have a feeling they want to stop Disaster City. They're tired of it. Too many bad things have been going on, and we have a new invading force, and they're coming to wipe out the city once and for all. So, here, in the workshop items, I found a couple really, really cool things. Uh, the first one being something that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. So, I have a lot of fans of Stormworks, and they love to see some submarines. And I'm thinking there is a nuclear submarine, or maybe a couple of them, on their way to Tiny Town to once and for all nuke all of Disaster City and take it out. So, it's going to be up to the citizens of Tiny Town, or I guess I should say Disaster City, they're going to have to stop these subs from reaching the shores. So we've got that. Now, to give you guys any ideas for future episodes, I have an airship I downloaded. I've got the Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla. Uh, let's see, what else did I download? I've got some more boats, but we're actually going to use those here today. And this is something I've wanted to see in Tiny Town for the longest time. They actually, uh, somebody made a parachute here. And that's something that I've just absolutely wanted to see for the troops. So we'll probably be using that here today. So anyways, let me go ahead and zoom out. Now this is going to be a huge sub, and it's going to be plowing into the bay, that way it can launch its nuke, even though realistically it could probably launch the nuke like from way off out in the water, but it wants to make sure that it takes everything out. Alright, so scaling wise, how big is this compared to the people? This has got to be like the biggest sub ever, let's see. You know, that's actually probably not too bad scaling wise once you look at it. This guy kind of fits in there. Alright. So let's go ahead, we can make it a little bit bigger here. All right, so we're gonna have two of these. So let's go ahead, grab another one. Uh, oh, not three, I think three might be overkill. They uh, they brought one for a backup. All right, so one's gonna be pulling up in the bay over here. Gonna stick it in the water. And this one's gonna be probably coming up from the water, uh, maybe on this side. That actually looks pretty cool. All right, so we have those. And it's really weird because you have the huge battle going on in the background. And a lot of the army doesn't even notice the two subs that have arrived here to take out the town. They're too busy fighting each other. But luckily, we are going to have some that are going to be trying to fight back. All right, we are going to need some primitives here. Let's go ahead and add some white. And we'll add some blue. Kind of creating a, uh, a splash effect here. 
like the subs uh, emerging from the water. So I want to keep that. It's probably going to be running over some boats and sinking them. I think that would be kind of a cool little touch here. So let's go ahead and start to add these. I'm going to do this to both subs because I think they're both going to be coming up at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to use a mixture of the white balls here. And then I'll throw some of the blue uh, ones kind of around here too to make it look like water and kind of foam coming up. All right, so we're going to use some of the new items here. We have a tugboat, which... Wow, the model for that looks really spectacular. It's a little big. Hold on, let's go compare it uh, to one of our pre-existing boats. Yeah, we definitely need to sink the model down. Uh, that's probably... Tugboats are a little bigger than like a fishing boat. Probably like that. Could have been tugging that tanker in that crashed. So this thing here is going to be getting ran over uh, by the sub. The sub doesn't care. It's here to seek and destroy and take out anything it can. So... It's running this over. We need to get some uh, fishermen here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I forgot to point out, we also have a new tornado. I've been kind of wanting to use it because it looks better than my current one, so maybe we'll have to do another tornado disaster someday. All right, so I'm adding some little uh, sailors here. They're trying to get away from their tugboat. So they're in the water. They're getting flung off. Uh, the sub's coming in. It's absolutely causing uh, chaos here. Let's go ahead and do this. I forgot how fun it was to sit here and, like, pose these little people and try to make them all look like they're in action. This one's going to be like hopping off the boat. Yeah, I like that. That actually looks pretty good. All right, so that one's coming in. Uh, you know what? We're going to have a special force or a spec ops unit come in that knows the subs are coming. That way we can't have some sort of fight here uh, besides what's going on in the background. So we might have some planes and stuff. And maybe one of the spec op units, ooh, they could be landing in by parachute onto one of the subs. That'll give us a, a really good excuse to use those. Uh, let's see. The parachute, I believe, only comes in one color, though. And for Special Ops, I must say... Hold on, let's get back this way. Uh, special Ops, this might be a little bright for them. But, you know, it's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and scale that down a little bit. Let's grab a uh, military... Uh, some sort of Spec Ops person and see what it looks like. I think we've established that the green people are the good people, so... Go and have it like he's uh like he's grabbing on to something here. Well that is that about right? Does it need to be back there? I think it needs to be up towards the front. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here. Let's put that there. Get it a little bit closer. What does that look like? Oh, that is so cool. Dude, we gotta have a whole team coming in. So I need to get this and I need to equip some weapons. So I'll have some already on the boat. That way we can get some action down here. But we'll have a, another team just kind of flying in. All right, making this guy come in. That looks pretty cool, actually. So, hold on, let's get a view of this. So, yeah, you see them all parachuting in. I like that. You know, it'd be nice if we had, like, a collapsed version of that. Or, like, one that's laying on the ground. All right, so we're going to say the Spec Ops have boarded, or they're trying to board this sub here. So, let's go ahead and get a team. I really wish I had a rope. To, like make him repel which I don't know if that would really make sense but you know it's tiny town nothing really makes sense of what we're doing uh, let me see what I can find here all right explosives 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 you know I don't know if this military pack ever had anything like c4 in it I was hoping maybe they could be planting c4 on the top of this thing hoping to take it down uh, we might have to improvise here what do we have we have drums there's boxes you got these shells here I uh, suppose you could use one of those. Uh, we could use a grenade, I guess. I don't know. What happens if we stick one of these on the side? You know, maybe we could have this guy working on this explosive on the side. And the others can be fighting. Maybe some emerged, which I think they would emerge from the top. But I think a lot of times there's something in the back. So maybe they're going to be having a, a firefight with some uh, of the invaders here trying to blow up Tiny Town. So I'm going to go ahead and pose some of these dudes kind of up here. Maybe we'll have one going down and falling off the uh, off the sub here. That would be kind of cool. You know what? I think we're going to use the same opposing force that we used over on the beach there. So we're going to use these blue guys. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of them. They're going to be emerging, uh, trying to stop the, uh, the green from taking over the sub and blowing it up. So uh, let's see. I don't have a hatch piece. Uh, I think maybe I can make it look like he's coming out like this. Uh, there might be something I could stick there. Let me go see my primitive shapes. 
Uh, but they're gonna be having a firefight. We'll have like a guy here. He could be running up the side and this guy here, maybe he's gonna be calling for backup. And also up here, you can see our boys, uh, they're fighting. Uh, I'm gonna put some muzzle flashes in. This guy's going down, but his gun's like over here. I like this, I like this a lot. There's just so much action going on everywhere. <laughs> this is insane. All right, so at the front of this boat, I think it's gonna be taking out this cool little houseboat that I downloaded too. Uh, let's make that about like that. So it's gonna be taking this thing out. Let's go ahead and put that about right there. All right, so we got that going on. I'm gonna put some people on that, but you can see, got the weapons in hand, got some of the muzzle flashes going here. So we have a pretty cool action scene happening. Uh, let's go ahead and get some normal citizens here uh, for this boat. You know what? I got a character. I almost forgot her. Uh, we got to incorporate uh, Oblivious Grandma somewhere. Trust me, folks. I don't forget. Uh, she's got to come out here. I just got to see where I got to put her. All right. So that houseboat is getting tipped over. The people are jumping out. I think the scaling's okay on that. Okay. So I like that. All right. So we have the fight going here. The parachutes are trying to come in. Probably have some uh, aerial. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think it's in the uh, airport. I think we're gonna have some jets coming in too. Maybe doing some low passes. What would a jet do? Like honestly, if there's a nuclear sub, does the nuke? Is there? A, I would assume there's some sort of a procedure about shooting at a nuke. Like I don't think you want to blow it up, do you? I don't know. Somebody could probably answer that. All right. So I got two jets on the scene. They're afterburners. Are gonna be kicked on. Uh, they're trying to get here as fast as possible in order to try to take out the threat from the nuclear subs. So I think the sub up here, uh, maybe it's going to be getting... I'm going to say there's going to be an explosion on it, but they've hit one sub. And also I'm going to have some missiles coming out of it, kind of like they launched. So if a sub were to have missiles launching out of it, would it be towards the front or the back? I thought maybe... Maybe the rear here or maybe in the front. You could say it could torpedo the city that way, but I'm going to have it where it actually launches the uh, the rockets upwards and out. Okay, I have nothing that looks like a nuke, so we might have to go with standard missiles. So, we might put a bunch of smoke and stuff on these. Actually, let's use the same one here. Uh, we're going to stack some of these. So, this thing is going to be uh, having like a missile barrage going off right now. Uh, we'll have them launching out. Uh, we're going to have a lot of them planted in there. Uh, I'm gonna have to stick something in here to make it look like they uh, have some sort of base. But, you know, actually I probably don't. I'm gonna make a bunch of smoke here. So, we're gonna do little pellets for this. So, they're gonna be all like blasting off on the surface here. And then we'll do an explosion towards the back. Uh, where the uh, people have actually shot at it. And they're blowing up a part of the sub. There we go. So, we have missiles coming out. I put little uh, flares on the bottom. You got some of the smoke starting to come up. Okay, so back here, this thing is going to be getting hit. So I'm thinking right here on the side. And I'm going to create just like a little explosion effect. It's not going to have smoke or anything because it's just now happening. Like those jets hit it as soon as it hit the surface here. So I need to create that real quick. I'm having a lot of fun here today. I actually, uh, I'm enjoying being back here in Tiny Town. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this as well. Uh, if you are, like I said, uh, let me know down in the comments section and we can uh, sure do some more. You know, eventually, like I was saying, I do want to move on to a new map because I really want to use the zombie and the apocalypse stuff again. I mean, I guess I could do like a another section maybe somewhere, but to me, I would like to almost start fresh and we could do like camps, uh, maybe cities, maybe almost like a full out like fallout style map or something. All right, so that thing's getting hit on the side. That looks pretty good, actually. All right, so we need to have maybe one or two missiles coming its way. So let's go ahead, grab a couple of these. These are coming off of the uh, the jets here. So maybe they have another missile coming this way. And it's gonna go boom, right into it. All right, so I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. You know, it's kind of weird because these uh, subs are gonna come in and probably almost immediately get hit by the tsunami. I guess maybe the tsunami's gonna miss it, maybe. You know, another thing we haven't done, and this is actually uh, something I've never actually really shown in the episodes. I placed this thing, I believe, maybe at the tsunami episode or maybe at the uh, the oil tanker crash. But yeah, this was something that I placed in the map, a little Statue of Liberty. And I don't think I've ever really acknowledged it. I know, I know I've said probably something about it, but we've never done anything with it. So I think that's where one of our favorite characters is going to be. 
And she's on a little tour. She's just having the time of her life. She has no clue what's going on behind her. It's everybody's favorite lady, Oblivious Grandma. And what is she doing? She's on here taking a selfie with her cell phone, getting a good glimpse of the Statue of Liberty. She's got her burger, or I should say Komodo burger in her hand. There's a little spy cakes cake, and she's got a jukebox. Or did I just really say jukebox? She's got a boom box that she's listening to her favorite music. What you don't want, Oblivious Grandma, I have no clue what that would be. You know, I almost want to take a selfie with her. Hold on, let's get close. Let's take one. I don't, I don't think it'll capture me. Hello, Oblivious Grandma. Oh, let's take that back. Uh, 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 no telling what that looks like. We'll hope that we took a selfie with her. Right, I told you guys over here, we're going to add a hatch. Is it, should it be black? I guess it's going to be black. So, let's move this down. This will be the hatch that they're coming through on this side. So, let's go ahead and get that in. It doesn't look terrible. It probably needs to be centered more. Let's go... Uh, no, not you. The hatch. There we go. And you're going to be climbing out of that. Make sure you still have your gun strapped to your back. Cool. So, the invasion's happening. C4 is coming in. Will they be able to stop the two nuclear subs in time? I have no clue. Uh, let's go back here. Let's kind of observe. I think this looks good. So what else can we add here? Oh, I was looking at that on the ground. That's actually the shadows from the parachutes. All right. So I think uh, just for the sake of using some of these other ships that we haven't used yet. Man, we still haven't used these big cranes. We really need to do like a port or something. Uh, we'll get to that one day. All right. So let's zoom out here. I want to use some of these cargo ships and stuff like that. We're going to have to make this a little smaller scale. Uh, let's see. Where's our other tanker? Okay, let's go up. That looks about right. All right, so we'll have this. This thing was maybe coming into the bay here. There we go. So that's going to be coming in. I'm going to put some people on that. Uh, let's go ahead. All right, let's go over here. We're going to stick something like a sailboat. Maybe people will be freaking out seeing all the stuff that they're seeing. Oh, you know one boat we never used? We actually never used one of these little rowboats. Oh, could you imagine being on that out here? Yeah, that one's going to be flipping over. Oh, let's get a character on there. We need, uh, need somebody special on that one. Let's see. You know what? It could be one of the inmates. Maybe they got really, really off track uh, from where they were going from the jailbreak. And he ended up over here. But I tell you what, he didn't end up in a, a great situation. So he's going to be a little panicked. And yep. That does not look fun at all. That's cool looking. Uh, maybe he was trying to get on the tugboat or something. Oh yeah, we have plenty of buildings for a dock. Maybe that should be the next thing. I don't really know. Where would we stick the dock? Possibly down by the airport. Uh, that's all washed away over there. We could make the land stretch out even further. I don't think we would stick it on the backside, but you never know. Maybe that'll be something we do. Yeah, we're going to stick another ship back here. Just kind of fill out this area. There we go. All right, so another thing I need to address here real quick. This bridge has been driving a lot of people nuts. Now, the reason why I haven't continued this bridge, this bridge was going to lead out to a landmass somewhere, but I figured since all the chaos that's happening, this bridge is probably down. But the problem is you cannot shift like these road pieces or even the bridge piece, nonetheless, you can't shift them at an angle for some reason, and I haven't quite figured that out. So, so say we're gonna grab this bridge piece here. I can't do this with it. See, it snaps, and that's even with snapping off. So I'm trying to figure out a way to end, like I'd love to do that and just have it collapsing, but I can't figure out a way to end the bridge. We could do something like, hold on, uh, can we stick it about right here? Man, I wish we had a way to make that look like it's collapsing into the water. Give me a second. Maybe, just maybe, I can make this work with primitives. But there's no guarantees here. Like, yeah, I've been staring at this for like the past like 15 minutes. I can't find a way to make this work. If anybody has an idea about this bridge, it really does bug me too that it's not finished. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out. Well... You know, I think we're going to wrap this up. This was kind of an introduction back into Tiny Town. We have a military operation. We have sinking ships. We have the two nuclear subs. The kind of out of place parachutes with the spec ops flying in. We got all the little operations coming in. You got the jets flying in. Uh, the missiles getting launched. And all sorts of chaos happening here. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this brief little tour into Tiny Town. I think we will be doing some more of this here relatively soon. I just want to kind of use this episode to gauge interest in this uh, series again and see if this is something you guys will want to see more of. So anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. We're going to wrap it up here. You might see some more of this really soon, maybe on the weekend, maybe the start of the next week. But do keep on suggesting down below. Thank you guys for the support, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.